Charlie, I want to thank you for coming to camp. My name is Thad Johnson with ABC, and I'll be taking a look at your video here today, give you a few pointers. First thing we're going to do is talk about your, your balance position, your initial setup, and in, in then into your balance position. And, and really right here, as you come set, I'd like, I'd like you to, I would like you to come set with your feet a little bit further apart. And the reason for this is, is that as you lift, Okay, you're essentially pretty much you're going to be standing on one leg and you need to be able to absorb that lift and not allow your body to go, you know, to the left, to the right, too much too much back or too much forward. And I'd really like to see you come set with your feet about slightly below, you know, shoulder width apart. Even even shoulder width apart's fine. And then from right here, this would be a good distance for your feet to come and then as you bring when you bring your leg up, you're going to bring that, that foot or that knee up kind of in a diagonal position towards your back hip. And what that's going to do is that's going to just allow you to just force you to, to step back into your backside to focus on keeping that weight on that back foot. So that's, that's the first thing I'd like you to, like you to change. Um, you know, and this, this is just something you just practice. Because what, what's going to happen is you're going to, we're going to, we're going to fast forward this here a couple frames forward. In your immediate your immediate first movement after coming set, your hip is gonna just want to just take off going forward, and it's gonna be you're you're gonna have this rush delivery, okay, a rush delivery where no weight is gonna be on the backside, and that's really gonna be the key to anybody's success is is how long can they keep that weight back and can they transfer it through the baseball at rotation and release. And if you don't keep your weight back, you're not going to be able to really be aggressive through the ball. So, so you come set. Your hands are in a good position. But again, let's go ahead and, and spread the feet out a little bit. Slight bend in the back leg. So here we go. And we're going, we're lifting, and you're just doing a dead slide step. Hip is, hip is flat. Your hips are flat. Okay. They're not tilted, which means that, you know, ideally you'd like to see you like to see some a slight tilt in those hips. That's gonna that's gonna cause the uh, the weight to stay on the backside. As you can see, you just you just blow out blow out there from the rubber, and you deplete all all energy in your backside. So now you're just a front side delivery guy with not a whole lot of with not a whole lot of power on the back. So you know and again it's just practice just do a balance lift drill you just you're just lifting into that balance position holding it feeling those hips kind of get tilted a little bit before you take off carry a lot of the weight in the back side okay as we move to the directional part of the the delivery really what i like to see with guys on their initial takeoff is that their their foot and their glove okay do they do a pretty good job of staying together at delivery and as you can see you just never really get this out there and and when guys have that really really short and front side with the top half it's going to cause them to open up early and you never you never get direction with your top half so you get to a point where about right here and you're now starting to pull your elbow down into your body and opening up, and you're and you're going to open up your front side early, which is going to cause a lot of rotation. You're going to be really short at the baseball. You're going to lose your line. Um, a lot of your pitches are going to be missed left or right. So you just need to. We just need to work on. You just need to work on a drill um, where you're just striding out. You just you basically, as you pick yourself up, you do this. You just do this drill where you go from a balanced position, and then you stride out. Glove in line with your foot. You land into that loaded position right here, okay, and then you back yourself up into the balance position. And you're you're just doing a weight transfer drill, really working on getting that that longer front side. And it it may not ever get out to the distance that your foot's at at foot strike, but it may it may get out to where your knee is, okay. So it's just a little drill. It's a weight transfer drill where you just feel yourself sway forward, sway back, break your hands. And get uh, get that glove out a little bit longer, just to keep your line. Because as you can see, our foot's landing right here. Your front, your top half, your top half is just shooting off here towards the building. Okay, 
and 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 it's just that early front side open up, you know, is going to cause a lot of problems as you fatigue um, throughout the course of a, a pitching outing, um, where you know twenty pitches may be your limit, maybe it's fifty pitches, seventy five, whatever it is, where that front side issue is going to now take over because you're fatigued and you can't make up for it. You're going to then start to start to miss left, start to miss right. Ball might start escaping you, you know, up into the right-handed batter's box. So we're just going to go ahead and, again, just going to take care of that with that weight transfer drill. Feel that long front side, that glove stay in line with the front foot a little bit longer. Keep the top half closed. Okay, you can also do a one-knee drill where at this loaded position right here, you're going to just drop yourself down to a knee and work on playing catch with a partner. Extend the distance out to a 90 to 100 feet and see if you can just stay stay within those feet without falling over as you as you rotate the top half to throw you're going to get an idea of what what it's like to just move yourself forward and not just blow the front side open to create to create a pitch all right now the next thing we're going to talk about here is uh, just some arm health issues at foot strike at foot strike I like to see pitchers level shoulders which you are okay so this is this is a great job. The one thing that concerns me, though, Charlie, is this high back elbow. Okay, that high back elbow right there, um, what that's gonna eventually going to lead to is you get bigger and stronger. It's going to lead to some arm injuries. You see a lot of guys today in today's game that their elbows are breaking down, their shoulders are breaking down with the labrum and the, and the UCL and the elbow. Uh, the one thing they all have in common is that foot strike, they got a high elbow on the back side. A lot of pressure, a lot of stress, undue stress. So you just need to work, do a lot of mirror work, flatten that elbow out, get it, get it to at least at the very height, shoulder height, okay, possibly even slightly below. Um, and this is going to take a huge amount of effort and work on your part, you know, to kind of flatten that arm out on the backhand side. I've seen it done before, and it's just, it's a lot of mirror work, just working the delivery at a slow, slow place, being nice, so, excuse me, slow pace, being nice and relaxed with the backside. Okay, and just feel feel like that arm is just dangling nice and loose like a wet noodle um, back by your, you know, back by your, your, your right knee or your right calf. Um, and you almost want to overemphasize it as you first start trying to change it. But again, that, that's going to be something that you, you're going to want to change because of arm health issues. So as we move, we move forward to the, to the release of the baseball, uh, Charlie, this, you, do, you do a great job. Nice and long, long through the baseball, good extension. Okay, you're in a real, real good balanced position over the front leg, and you're in a good position to catch a ball if it comes back to you. So, um, you know, the the end of your delivery, you do you do a great job, and you have a real good finish through the baseball. So we'll just kind of go back to review. Uh, as you as you address the rubber, let's just make sure that our feet are, you come set, our feet are a little bit more spread out. Get yourself shoulder width maybe slightly beyond and then we're pushing or we're, we're bringing our, our knee or rolling our hip or taking our heel and we're bringing it up towards our, our back uh, our right hip kind of in that in that diagonal um, diagonal lift to get our weight on our back side we break our hands again keeping our weight on our back side as we move forward towards home plate we want to we want to keep our weight back as long as possible Keeping our front side closed, and to do this, you you really need to you just need to get a little bit more extension with that with that glove side. Get it out towards at least the knee, so it doesn't open up early. Because at this point right here, when you land, your top half should still be closed. Okay, your top half should be in this position right here when we land. That would be a great this position right here. If you can memorize what this looks like, you need to take that position and hold on to it. For another two or three frames, okay, which, however, you know, much time in the, in your delivery is, but you need to hold on to this position a little bit longer. If you can take this to foot strike where that left foot hits the ground, you're going to be perfect. So keep that top half closed. Rotate, release, be nice and aggressive through the baseball, and have that good finish. You have a good flat back finish. You're out over your front leg. That's one thing we we like to see. Is that release? Is that release? Is the head getting towards that knee? Okay. Is the elbow getting over that front that front uh, front foot, which means you're getting fully extended out there. 
and it's something that you know with a towel drill you can you can actually maximize you can maybe get another two to three inches at your release point with that towel drill getting the target right out in front of you you know have somebody stand you know maybe where this line is right here and and work on uh, slapping slapping the target with a towel and just slowly backing up see how far you can get that release point out so Charlie I want to thank you for coming to camp hope you learned a lot we'll, we'll see you out there again sometime soon